Now the topic before us is finding elements in Python lists, tuples, and more membership operators. Now membership operators in Python are used to check if a specific value exists within a sequence. Now the question arises: What is sequence? A sequence can be a string, tuple, list, or dictionary. We will also learn what is the meaning of string. Tuple, list, or dictionary. Here we have stated that membership operator checks if a specific value exists within a sequence. But in the case of dictionary, membership operator does not check for values, but it checks for keys. Now we will understand the meaning of string, then tuple, list, and dictionary. string is a sequence of character that is it may be a word or many words or a sentence this string is normally enclosed in a single quote or a double quote single quote means here we write string which may be a word or a sentence or we may write it in double quotes example a is a variable this is my house this is the string this is my house and it is enclosed in double quotes name is a variable and sahil is string it is enclosed in double quotes it may be in single quotes normally it is recommended to use double quotes however it you write it in triple quotes it will also serve the purpose but normally in python we use double quotes or single quotes tuple in python a tuple is an ordered collection of elements tuples are immutable immutable means once a tuple is created its elements cannot be modified added or removed the elements are enclosed in parentheses here it is the example of tuple b is the variable and these are the elements 1 apple 3.1 3.14 one is integer apple is a string and this is the floating value now comes the list it is also an ordered collection of elements but the difference between list and tuple is that in case of list the elements can be changed added or removed after the list is created in case of tuple once a tuple is created we cannot change add or remove the elements but in case of list we can change add or remove elements elements can be of different data types the same is true for tuples also in case of tuple we had enclosed all the items or all the elements elements in parentheses but in the case of lists elements are enclosed in square brackets here you can see that these are the elements 1 2 3 and 3.14 this is integer integer value this is string this is the floating value and these are enclosed in squares now dictionary a dictionary is an unordered collection of items each item in dictionary is stored in a key value pair what is the meaning of key value pair here we understand the same this is the variable my dictionary here you can see that here the items are given here the items each item is stored in a key value pair that is in between this this is one item this is another item city chandigarh this is another item here name is key and tania is value 
हेयर एज इज की ट्वेंटी फाइव इज वैल्यू इन द सेम वे सिटी इज की एंड चंडीगढ़ इज वैल्यू दैट इज हेयर दी ईच आइटम इज स्टोर्ड इन ए डिक्शनरी इन की वैल्यू पेयर वेन वी वॉन्ट टू असेस एनी कोरस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यू वी विल हैव टू असेस कीज we cannot directly assess values in case of dictionary we will have to assess keys key value these items are enclosing curly braces such type of curly braces these are used to enclose the items Key value pairs are separated by commas. Here you can see commas are there in between the items. Colons are used to associate key with their respective values. Here you can see these are colons which have been used between key and value in case of each item in dictionary. Now. there are two types of membership operators first is in and the second is not in when we use the membership operator in python they always return boolean values as already told boolean values means true or false as output first we will talk about in operator member in membership operator this is the in this in operator is used to check if a value exists within a sequence it returns true if the specified value is found in the specified sequence if the specified value is not found in the sequence then the in operator will return the output as false we will understand this concept with the help of example suppose we take a variable x and these are the values or elements stored therein now we use print function to find out whether a specific value is there in a sequence this is the sequence it is a list because it is enclosed it is a tuple because it is enclosed in parentheses these are ordered elements now we will find whether 2 is present in x so what will be the output the output will be true because 2 is present in this tuple or in this sequence if we say write print 12 in x whether 12 is present in this sequence or in this tuple no 12 is not present so when we will use this in our code editor or the python interpreter will give the output as false because 12 is not there in the sequence next suppose we take another example we take the variable fruits and we take elements as mango banana watermelon if we use print function and also in operator to find whether orange is there in this sequence or in this tuple orange in fruits 
the output in the code editor now in this course we will be using visual studio code the visual studio code will give the output as whether orange is present in this sequence or in this tuple because here only mango banana and watermelon is given orange is not there and we are we are to find out whether orange is there in the sequence no orange is not there so the visual studio core or the python interpreter will give the output as false because it is not present suppose we take another example we have created variable message and we have written Ravi is my brother. So we here use print function to find out whether I am in message. It means we are using the print function and also the in operator to find out whether this substring I am is there in the sequence or message what is the output or what will be the output the output will be false if we use print function and the in operator to find whether br is there in the sequence or in the message whether br is there here substring br is present in the this string br is present so our output given by the code editor or the python interpreter will give the output as true please note that when the code editor or the python interpreter will look for or when we are using the in operator to find out a value in a sequence the character should be in serial term that is here we cannot say that if we use i from here b from here and want to find i b the python interpreter will give the output as false these two two characters should be in joint that is they should be prop uh, there in if we want to find vi here substring vi is associated with one another closely next we will now we will do practical to understand how the in operator actually behaves in code editor or how we get the output in our code editor or how the co uh, python interpreter will give the output in case of when we use the in operator now we will discuss about not in operator this operator is used to check if a value does not exist within a sequence the sequence may be a string list tuple or dictionary this operator that is not in operator returns true if the specified value is not found in the specified sequence if the specified value is found in the sequence then the operator returns false let us understand what we have said with the help of an example suppose we have created a variable name and here we write the sequence or string hidden and here we use print function now we will find whether y not in name we are using this not in operator name is this variable y is substring here y so here you can find that y is present in 
the variable name why is there in this string now we are using not in operator whether y is not there in name the not in because here the y is present so what will be the output output will be false the not in operator will give the output as false because substring y is present in string hidden if we use print then not in name here then is also present then substring is also present in the string or sequence given above in the string hidden so here the output will be also false if we say use print function and here the y is in upper case and we use not in operator to find whether y in upper case is present in the sequence or in the string whether y in upper case is present in the string so the answer is true because in the case of string hidden or sequence hidden y is in lower case but here we are to find whether the not in operator is to find whether y in upper case is there in sub in string hidden because python is case sensitive it differentiates between lower case and upper case if we say you create the variable name and the information is theme any information may be there 1 2 3 we create another but here the variable is with name n is in lower case so the python interpreter or the python will understand that both its variables are different so in nutshell what we want to say that python is case sensitive it differentiates between the characters written in upper case and in lower case now we will understand how the python interpreter will how the not in operator actually behaves in code editor or how when we use the not in operator what is the output in practical now we will see how the in operator gives the output in code editor we are here using v visual studio code which is the code editor of python so now we are creating a variable in the name of string and here the value stored is welcome to my house so now we will be using in operator to find out whether a particular substring is present in the string given string here given is welcome to my house so now we will be using print function as well as the in operator to find out whether substring 2 is present to in str here str is the variable print is the function to is the substring which we want to find in this string welcome to my house so here we will give the a command or enter the run button and the our the output given by the in operator is true because two is two sub string is present in this string given above now we use print again print function here we use double quotes to sub string earlier we had used 
single quotes now again we are using quotes but double quotes and here we run here the answer is also true because in the case of strings we can either use single quotes or double quotes now we can also use triple quotes in the case of strings normally it is recommended to use double quotes or single quotes now we create another variable with the name message here we write a string list of top 10 models here is equal to. so here we will use using print function and also then we will be using in operator to find whether two is there in message that is here we are using in operator message is the variable print is the function two is the substring you will find that here in this string list of top 10 models two is there in case of top word two is present as substring so what will be the output here we give the answer is true because two is present in the word top within the substring list of top 10 models however if we use say OS whether if we say give the command whether OS is present in message you will find that OS is not there it is not that you can take any character from the string and join it with the another and say that both the substrings are present no both the strings both the characters in the string have to be written jointly that is they are written say as e n if we want to say want to find out whether e n is there the answer will be true so now we take another example now we here create my dictionary as variable and in the case of dictionary as already told here we have to use curly brackets here name is the key as already told and Tanya is the value and after as already told after each item here name and Tanya is one item. Here we write age. Age and 25. Age is to be in double string. 25 is not to be in string. Here age 25 is also a item. Where age is the key. 25 is the value here we write city then full colon and give the name of city Chandigarh here this is the dictionary created here you can see that red color line is appearing it means that there is something wrong when we have written the dictionary so here city has to be in double quotes so here you will see that red line which was there below city chandigarh has disappeared so it means that we have written the proper sequence no now we will have to find out whether 25 is there in dictionary print 25 in my tick 
you will find that 25 is there and we want to find 25 in my dictionary that is 25 in variable the 25 is present so our answer should be okay true but let us see what is the output answer is false why it has happened because in the case of dictionary the in operator is used to find out the keys and not the values that is if we want to say find out tanya 25 or chandigarh we cannot find them using the in operator because all these are values tanya 25 and chandigarh are values in operator in the case of dictionary can find only the keys which contain the values now we will use print function and here we will be using not 25 but rather the age in which the 25 is con value is contained print age in my dictionary so what will be the result So here you will find that the result is true because in case of dictionary the in operator wants to find out the information in respect of the information which is given in name that is the key which is age or city in the given dictionary. So I hope you have been able to understand how the in operator gives the output in reality. Let us see how the not in operator works in practical. We are here using Visual Studio Code, which is a, one of the code editors used in Python. So, here we will be learning about the not in operator. So, here we are creating a variable with the information which can be anything 20 minus 1 55 70 this is the list this is the tuple which we have created because here the information is contained in the parenthesis so now we want to find out whether some particular value is not there in the sequence. Suppose we want to find out whether 20 not in A. What is 20? 20 is the value which we want to find out. Not in is the operator which we are using. A is the variable. Print is the function which will give the output. So here we can see from the given variable A that 20 is there. But we want to find out whether 20 is not there. So what is the answer? The output is as expected it is false because 20 is present in the variable given. Now we want to find out another variable say 18 not in A. You can find out that 18 value is not there in the given sequence so the answer is true you can find out here true so now we take another example we create a variable with the name fruits orange Banana, pineapple, each has to be in within strings. Find apple. So now we will be using note in operator to find out whether cherry note in fruits. 
so what is the output true because cherry is not present in the fruits this is the list where the fruits are given orange banana and pineapple but cherry is not there so the not in operator gives the output as true because cherry is not present it is true now we create another string this is my two most collection of arts now we use not in operator to find whether two not in str str is the variable not in is the operator which we are using two is the value which we want to find from this list or the sequence you can find that this is my topmost here in topmost word substring 2 is present you can find 2 is there so what is the here we are saying 2 not in that is 2 is not there it is false you can find out that the in not in operator gives the output that it is false two substring is present in the given string if again we use not in operator and here we want to find out cell c e l not in string now whether c e l substring is there in continuity you can find out that co is present but cel is not present it is not that c word uh, c character can be at any place e at some other place these sub uh, characters have to be in continuity in this sequence so when you run the answer is true because cel substring is not there in the string hope you have been able to understand how the not in operator gives the output in python now we will do some practice questions to find out how far we have been able to understand the concept of membership operators that is in operator and not in operator the first question before us is create a list of fruits and check if pineapple is in the list what we will do we will create a list this is a list this is the variable name which we have created and then in the case of list as already told that the information has to be enclosed in square brackets so here we will write the names of some fruits apple banana and cherry this is what this is variable this is what this is sequence or this is list because here square brackets are there now we will have to find out if pineapple is there in the list so we will use print function and also we will use in operator print we will use pineapple because we have to find pineapple is there in the list pineapple in the list in is here in operator pineapple is the value which we want to find and list is the variable name so what will be the output the in operator will give the output as false because pineapple is not there in the list because only three types of fruits are there apple banana and cherry and pineapple is not there if we say what to find 
print apple in the list so everything is same apple is there apple is there so we may say that apple is present and the in operator will give the information as true but it is wrong because the in operator in operator will give the output as false why because as already told python is case sensitive python differentiates between the same character written in upper case and lower case here the information given in the list is in lower case apple is written in lower case here the apple is written in upper case so the output will be false even if any word in between is in upper case the output will be false because python is case sensitive however if we use in operator and want to find apple here everything is in lower case same as it is as it is in the given sequence above so our output will be oh so the in operator will give the output as true because everything is because all the characters are the same in lower case as present in the list or in the variable given above now the second question before us is you have a variable created with the name numbers and this is the tuple and this is the value or the elements given there in 1 4 7 and 11 write python expression using the in operator that is we have to use in operator to find to check if 5 is present in the sequence first of all we will write numbers which have been given to us 1 4 7 11 now we have to find whether 5 is there in numbers so in is in operator numbers is the variable why 5 is the value which we have to find in the sequence the in operator will give the output as false because 5 is not present in this sequence only 1 4 7 and 11 is there now we have another question for practice you have a variable with the name letters here tuple is given and these are the this is the sequence given or the information or the value provided is these characters a c e these are the strings because these are in single quotes as already told string may also be in double quotes or single quotes and sometimes also in triple quotes normally in single quote and double quote string is there write python expression using the not in operator here we will be using not in to check if b is present in the letters so here what is the information given letters please note to write a in single quotes as given in the question e if we if you forgot to use these single quotes or double quotes then either the output will be different then required or there may be some error now we will use print function and also the not in operator to find if b not in letters letters is the variable 
नोट इन इज द नोट इन ऑपरेटर बी इज द वैल्यू विच वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट और नोट इन ऑपरेटर विल फाइंड आउट सो द आउटपुट इज ट्रू बिकॉज बी इज नॉट देयर एंड इट इज द क्वेश्चन आल्सो सेज दैट वी हैव टू यूज नोट इन ऑपरेटर टू चेक इफ बी इज प्रेजेंट b not in that is we are already saying that b is not there in letters so answer is true you can devise your own questions and find out the results of the same and do your practice at your own level so that you can understand the concept of membership operator that is in operator and not in operator with more clarity and understanding thanks for watching if you like our course please share some time to give a star rating to our course